Hi guys, so today's video is going to be an online come book shopping with me. With everything that's been going on, most of us are not supposed to be leaving our houses or at least we're supposed to be avoiding going out and making contact with other human beings. That has eliminated the very favorite thing that my husband and I have for dates, which is just exploring our local used bookstores. It's one of our favorite things to do. We love being able to support those shops as well as go look for books because we love books. Because of all of that and everything that's going on, I decided I wanted to go and support bookstores this way because we can't go out, but there is a website that somebody, they tagged me in a post over on Instagram and this website is called bookshop.org. You type in the book that you want and then they try to find that book from your local used bookstores. It's extremely prevalent given the circumstances right now. I also have Changing Hands website open. Changing Hands is our favorite local bookstore in my area. Right now they're doing some really cool things where they're offering curbside pickup, they're doing delivery, all those sorts of things. They're a great local bookshop. So I just wanted to do this one because who doesn't want to shop for books? Books are great. But also I just feel like it's really important right now for me to do what I can to support the businesses that normally bring me so much joy. I'm not going to buy every single book that I've been wanting. I actually made a list of some books I was interested in and then paired them up and asked a bunch of you over on my Instagram stories, which one should I get so you guys could kind of literally help me book shop. And the first two were Dune and foundation. I am definitely way more of a fantasy reader than a science fiction reader, but I know that these are two classics, they're two staples in the science fiction genre. I've heard really good things about both. My husband definitely prefers foundation. You guys voted big time toward Dune. The results were 70-30, so I'm going to be doing some shopping to see if I can find him on my local used bookstores websites. So they have Dune on bookshop.org's website, but they have the kind of regular cover. My local used bookstore Changing Hands on their website has the fancy deluxe edition. I've just never gotten it because it's pricey, but I feel like right now, you know, bite the bullet. At the very least, I'll add it to my cart. We'll see if I actually get it. The next two books were Kings of Paradise and The Ninth Rain, the ninth rain one, which I was secretly kind of happy about because that cover is so cool. These were two books that I saw good things about when I looked them up online. I thought they sounded really interesting, but they seem like potential hidden gems because I've never heard anybody talk about them. That's why I had these two pinned against one another. The ninth rain though, looking at my websites here, it's not coming up. I searched on Amazon and on Amazon for US Amazon, it says that it would be getting it from Book Depository. So I guess this is only available from the UK. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get it though. Not a local used bookstore, but at least it's helping a business, I guess. The next two choices were The Shadows Between Us or Warrior of the Wild. These are both books by the same author, which would be Trisha Levenseller. That's why I pinned these two against one another. And Warrior of the Wild one. So I have read Shadows Between Us, but I had checked it out from my local library. I found it highly entertaining. It's about a girl who she wants to seduce the king so that he'll marry her and then she's gonna kill him so that she can just have all the power for herself. That's the setup. It was a standalone. It was really funny to me. This other one, Warrior of the Wild, I have not read, but since reading Shadows Between Us, I am definitely very interested in reading more by Trisha Levenseller. I actually mentioned her on a video recently of authors that I want to read more works from. This is the perfect opportunity. I'm really glad that Warrior of the Wild won. It's just, I haven't read it. It's about Vikings, I believe, which is very different from the other one. So they have this book on both of the websites. I think I'm gonna stick with bookshop.org for this one since I've already put Dune in my cart for the Changing Hands one. So the next two, I'm not planning on buying either of these in physical form because I'm shallow and I do not like the covers, but I'm very interested in these books. The two that I pinned against each other would be Kashiel's Dart and The Seven Blades in Black. I'm very sorry to whoever designed these covers. They're just very much not for me, but I still think that the books sound really interesting. I'm gonna see if bookshop.org does any kind of digital version of things that they then maybe help 
put the money toward local bookshops. Oh, and Seven Blades in Black won for this one. So they do have a little thing that says get the ebook, so I'm really excited about that. It requires me to enter all my credit card information and stuff right now. I think you have to make like an online account. So I'll wait to do that, but I think that that will be an option. Next to the only reason I pinned them against one another is because they had the same word in their titles, the bone shifts and the bone criers moon. The Bone Ships was actually an anticipated release of mine from last year that I just never got around to reading, where Bone Crier's Moon was an anticipated release from this year. Very close, but Bone Ships by R.J. Big Barker Barker. It won. So once again, both websites had it, so I'm gonna stick with bookshop.org because one, a tiny bit cheaper, so that's nice, but also I'm still looking at potentially paying $40 for the other book. The next two books are both ones that I won't be able to get from these websites because they are UK editions. So one, it would be Blood Air, and then the other one would be Poison Study. Blood Air actually did win. But you know what? I've wanted to read Poison Study for years, and I just... I've never found it at my local used bookstores, not even the American version. I don't think they have it at my local library. I'm pretty sure I've checked. I've just wanted it for a really long time. It's $11 on Book Depository's website, so I think I'm actually just gonna get both with this one. The next two books would be Echo North and There Will Come a Darkness. I put these two against one another because their covers were pretty. <laughs> I thought the premise sounded really cool for both of these, but I just thought both their covers were really, really stunning. There Will Come a Darkness one. Those were the ones that I asked all of you which one should I get. I have a couple more books that I just think sound good that I'm gonna look for. One of them would be the Queen's Thief series. I think the first one's called just The Thief. I've heard really good things about this series from a lot of you, but I've never really heard anybody talk about it. And I wanna know what all the fuss is about. So I'm gonna look up that one. And I'm also gonna look up Boundary Side because I've seen a few people talk about it here and there but it sounds really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and recap my carts with bookshop.org. We have Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller, which is the Viking standalone story. We have The Bone Ships by R.J. Barker, which is the one that was an anticipated adult fantasy release from last year. I think it has to do with people, to do with like dragons and pirates and stuff, which I thought sounded really fun. There Will Come a Darkness and Foundry Side. Those are the four from bookshop.org and also if I can figure out everything I don't want to do right now. But off camera, I will see about trying to get the ebook for Seven Blades in Black. Or Changing Hands, one of my absolute favorite used bookstores here in Arizona where I live, I have the deluxe edition, the fancy, super expensive edition of Dune, as well as The Thief, which is the first book in the Queen's Thief series. Also, I will have the bookshop.org and Changing Hands website linked down below so that those of you who want to try to do something like this as well, support your local bookshops, you'll have that easily accessible. And then from Book Depository, because not everything I wanted was available on those other ones, we have Blood Air, which is the UK edition that I wanted. Poison Study, I was like, I just really want it. So I, I went ahead and selected that as well. And The Ninth Rain, not sure why that's not available from US online retailers, but it's only 1168 on Book Depository and they have free shipping. I don't know what things are like where you live, but here in the US, a bunch of us who don't really make tons of money were given some money by the government to help, to help, to alleviate some of the stress of everything that's going on right now. My husband and I, we don't make tons of money on a normal basis. Right now we're making less because I'm not able to do my job, but he still is able to do his and I do make some money doing YouTube and other things as well. So I just figured I wanted to give back with some of that money. I wanted to give back, put it back into something that brings me so much joy, but also so many other people joy. I really love the fact that we have these local bookshops. I'm constantly, when I do book hauls, talking about, oh, I got this at my local bookshop. I took this into my bookshop and therefore had credit and got this for free. I just feel like I get stuff basically for free all the time from my local bookshop, so I feel like it's it's only fair that I now, you know, I give back. I just really like them, and I hope you guys had fun with this. Like I said, I'll have bookshop.org linked. Thank you to the person on Instagram who brought that website to my attention. I think it's awesome, and I don't know if changing hands ships to people outside of Arizona, but I'll have it linked definitely for people in Arizona, but if you don't live in Arizona, trust me, the bookshop is awesome. 
the booksellers are really nice. <laughs> so hopefully if they do ship to where you're at, you can check them out too. Thank you so much for watching though. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you had fun with this and you would like me to do this in the future. If I do it in the future and I pin books against each other again, you can always see that on my Instagram story. So I'll have that linked. I'm at EB novels. But anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay healthy and I'll see you guys later. Bye.